question that I get asked all the time is, what do you use to make your sublimation images? Where do you print from? People are really surprised when I tell them that I just use Word. Word is easy. It's something that I know and I'm familiar with it and I've learned so much more since I started using it for printing my sublimation images. image you can see where I've clicked wrap and then through and because you want to wrap through is because then you can move your image anywhere that you want on your page and you're also able to layer you can put backgrounds behind them as long as they're PNGs and then you can um, move them where you want them and if you're printing numerous things um, you can add different images so you're not wasting your paper you can fill your paper up completely by using the wrap through feature now this one I'm just showing you what it looks like when you start to move an image um, it'll say move here or else you'll be able to just drop it in that location because you're using the wrap through feature this allows you to move the image anywhere on the page that you want it and this is also how you're going to layer your items too something else that you're going to want to do is on your layout screen you're going to want to customize your margins so i if you can see here i've got mine set to zero so does that mean that you're not going to have to trim? No, it doesn't go all the way to the end. But setting your margins to zero will help you to make bigger prints. So that when if you're doing 11 by 14 or I'm sorry, eight and a half by 14, or if you're doing eight and a half by 11, you can fill the whole sheet if you want to. So if you're going to be pressing an image on a shirt and you want that bigger image, you're gonna want your margins set to zero or as close to zero as you can get them. Going back to your page um, setup also under layouts, you're gonna wanna select under layouts, what size paper you're using, um, what um, your preference is for the direction of your paper. Do you want it landscape or portrait? So again, you're going to do that under the layout tab. But in this picture now, we're under the picture format tab. And this one is going to have so much useful information for you. There are things here that you may not know that you can do in Word. As you can see on the left, there's a color icon you can change the color and as you can see on the right way over on the right you can put in exact dimensions um, for sizing so if you're going to be making a wrap for a tumbler you can pick out the exact dimensions that you want and you can change it there Now this is one of the features in Word that not many people know about, is that you can change the color of your image. So because these letters are all black, I can change them to any color that I want. You can get any spectrum color that you want by going into color. And right here, I'm just changing it to kind of an orangish red color to give you an idea. Now this image is just showing you what it looks like after you've chosen a different color. And then also, if you look in the top right, I have changed the sizing. And so you can change it that way or just use the arrows to pull it to the size that you want. But um, this sizing over here really comes in handy when you're trying to des design a tumbler wrap and you want to get as little trimming as possible. These images now I have changed to a different computer because I actually print, I design in one laptop and then I email it to myself and then I print from a different one. Doesn't matter if you use the same one or not. It's just my printer is hooked to a different laptop. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. After you save your image, you go in and you go to file and print and then you can see your printer settings there. This is where you're gonna make your changes for um, printing sublimation. 
can see that I've went into my printer settings. Now you want to make sure that you're selecting your document size, which this one is eight and a half by 11. Then you're going to want to pick your paper type. Now the paper type that I use, I use A sub 125 or HTV Ront 125. I like the 125 because it just absorbs the ink really well. But the paper type, we don't have that option in here. So one that I found out that works best is the premium presentation paper mat. And then quality, always select high quality. And then um, I will go on to the next page. Now, as you can see, I'm under more options. And under more options, one of the um, tabs that you can click is image options. Now, I like to go into this one and I like to pick emphasize more and emphasize thin lines and then hit OK. Now, your printer might be different, but it's going to have something similar to this. So here, under more options, again, I've closed that image options, and underneath it you can see additional settings. Always unclick high speed. You do not want high speed when you are printing sublimation images. And then you'll see underneath that it says mirror image. That's where I mirror my images because you want to remember when you're doing sublimation, you always mirror your images. So in a nutshell, that's how I use Word for sublimation. After that, you just hit print, you load your paper in the back, it prints out, you let it dry, and then add it, and I'll do a different video on that sometime. This video is just showing you, in a nutshell, how to use Word for sublimation.